Hello everybody, Omega here. Gonna do a video on how to make a Minecraft 1.7.4 server. But before I get started, please come by and check out our server. The IP is in the description. And also if you'd like to rent your very own server, please check out Gizmo servers. The address is in the description. So first of all, what you'll need to do is look in the description and go to the bucket download website download the latest rec uh, developmental build so that's this one right here save it to somewhere you can find it easily and then once you do that create a nice little folder on your desktop and call it whatever you like this is my folder right here and then drag and drop the craft bucket jar file into this folder rename the jar file to just craft bucket so it just says craft bucket and then now look in the description and <clears throat> and paste in the code that you see in the description there once you paste it in you're gonna want to go to file and then go save as and then make sure you do all file types and then when you save it just give it a name so you know what it is so like run dot bat you gotta add the dot bat at the end otherwise it will not work and then you just save it and once you do that, you'll get a nice little uh, bat file like here. It says run. And what you're going to want to do is just double click that little file there, like so. And then, yeah, you get a little error message saying, um, yeah, please wait. And then there it goes. That's totally normal. It's supposed to do that. Don't freak out if it does that. That is just a 1.7.2 thing. So just give it time. You're going to get all these error messages. What it's saying is it's creating the world. Um, so let it run. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you guys how to port forward really quickly. So if you're on Windows 8, you're going to want to go to your search thing and then go to run. If you're on Windows 7 or Vista, just go to start and then type in CMD. And so Windows 8 users, go ahead and follow like so. Just go ahead and type in CMD. Your little black prompt box will come up. Type in ipconfig. And you're going to want to look for your internet connection, whether it be Ethernet or wireless. I'm on a wireless. Make sure you write down your IPv4 and default gateway. Write both of those down, and then once you have it written down, go ahead and exit out of there. And now what we're going to want to do is go to our web browser and type in the default gateway. Like so. And you're going to be prompted to log into your router. Um, you'll have to get the login info for it. Uh, sometimes you can use admin as the username and password as the password. Um, sometimes and all routers are pretty much gonna look different unless you have the exact same router as me but I highly doubt that um, you're gonna want to look for something along the lines of port forwarding port triggering or virtual servers or it might even be under advanced like minus and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to create a little profile like here you see my profile is called MC uh, I already have it set up, but you're going to want to create a new one if you don't have one set up already. Make sure if there's a check mark box next to it, it's check marked so they know that it's active. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it TCP and UDP. If you can't do it at the same time, you'll have to do it separately for each one. And then put in the IPv4 address right here, like so. And then you're going to want to put the default port for Minecraft, 25565. Put it in the uh, start port and then the end port. And then go ahead and save changes. You may or may not have to restart your router for the effects to take place. And then once you do that, you should be able to join your server. And other people should be able to join it as well. So what we're going to want to do is go to Google. And go to IP, what's my IP, and just click the first one there, 
and it should tell you your IP right there up at the top just give them that give your friends or whoever you want to join your server that IP and then when you want to connect to your own server it's even easier you don't have to type in that number you can type in I'll show you as soon as it loads in What you're going to want to do is just type in localhost or you can type in your IV, IPv4 if localhost does not work. So try either one. And there you go. As you guys can see, this is Minecraft 1.7.2. It's kind of laggy, sorry. World just generated or whatnot. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this has helped you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like on this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. I said bye. Does not want to say goodbye. This video is done right here but it doesn't want to stop recording <laughs> okay so what do you want me to update <laughs>